Welcome to Danbury High School's 2023 commencement ceremony. Danbury High School prides itself in having the best graduation ceremony in the state of Connecticut because of the number of students we celebrate and the dignity with which we honor these accomplishments. To continue with these traditions, please refrain from using noisemakers, air horns, or inflatables at any time during the ceremony as it ensures that all students are afforded their moment to shine for which they have worked so hard. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. Our distinguished guests are being led into the stadium by the Celtic Cross Pipers of Danbury, Connecticut. Ladies and gentlemen, our colors are presented by the Air Force Junior ROTC Squadron of Danbury High School. Introducing the Honorable Mayor Dean Esposito, Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Kevin Walston, Assistant Superintendents Kara Casimiro and Kelly Truchis, members of the Cabinet, members of the Board of Education, Danbury High School's Principal Daniel Donovan, and the faculty and staff of Danbury High School.
Yeah, there are good options.
Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've been school graduating class of 2023. <laughs>
seniors stand. Gentlemen, please remove your caps. Okay. The United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the singing of the Star Spangled Banner.
Xin chào một người. I would like to introduce our guests on the stage and ask that they stand to be recognized. Mayor Esposito, Board Chair Pesapesa, Present and Past Members of the Board of Education, Superintendent Walston, Assistant Superintendent Dr. Casimiro, and Mrs. Truchas, as well as the rest of the members of the Cabinet. On behalf of the 2023 graduating class of Danbury High, I would like to thank you all for being here today. En nombre de la clase graduada de 2023 de Danbury High School, me gustaría agradecerles a todos por estar aquí hoy. Please welcome the mayor of the city of Danbury, Mayor Esposito. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, today is a very, very special day, not only for the class of 2023, and it's a beautiful class that we see here today, but it's a very special day for those out there in the stands, the parents, the guardians, the family, the friends. I'd like you to give yourselves a round of applause, if you would, please. These graduates are here today with your support and your love and your blessing. And graduates, this has not been an easy road for you. You went through the, pan the pandemic, you focused on your education, you kept strong and moved forward to get to this day. You know, I graduated from this high school back in 1979, but the reality is, a lot has changed, but nothing has changed. And by that I mean, I had dreams back then that you have today, of moving forward in your life, going to school or getting a job. My dream was to be mayor of the city of Danbury back in 1979, and look at me today. Thank you, but you know, I just want to emphasize the fact that dreams do come true. Your goals do come true. And I want to congratulate each and every one of the graduates, the graduates here tonight from class of 2023, and congratulate you on your efforts. And always remember, once a hatter, always a hatter. God bless you all. I would like to introduce the Danbury High School Class of 2023's valedictorian, Hope Thomas. Good afternoon, everyone. David Dini Stotram. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Hope. I am absolutely honored to speak here before you today. I would like to greet Mayor Esposito, Board of Education Chairperson Petro Feza, Superintendent Walston, members of the Board of Education, Mr. Donovan, our parents and respected faculty, and to the members of the class of 2023, I'm extremely honored to be part of such an extraordinary group of individuals. Before I begin, I want to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for his mercies and his goodness in my life. You see, these past four years have been nothing short of a roller coaster, yet Christ has been the one constant in my life. I would also like to thank my parents, sisters, grandparents, friends, family, and church family. And I want to give a quick shout out to Ms. Smith and Mr. Douglas. They have been such a great support to me throughout my high school experience. At this time, I would like to recognize Mr. Holmes. He is an extremely influential figure in my life and the lives of everyone seated here today. Mr. Holmes was a person that never expected to be served, but he served every person that he met. We will truly miss his presence. 
For the past 13 years, our entire lives have been held together by singular sheets of papers, rubrics. We've had each and every single one of our requirements spelled out for us, and we spent each possible moment trying to fulfill those requirements. Throughout high school, I know I've spent all of my energy analyzing the rubrics of countless assignments, making sure I could attain every single point. Absolutely anything to avoid the dip in my stomach when a power school notification comes on. So, as I stand before you all today, I have a confession to make. For the first time in four years, when I was tasked with an assignment of conducting a speech with no rubric, I'll be honest, I was lost. The thought of having complete freedom to do anything I wanted, say anything I wanted, it was so scary. See, in many ways, we as the class of 2023 have experienced so much together. We've all been handed the same set of rubrics that have guided our lives up until now. We started off freshman year with mounds of hopes, pun intended, and dreams, which lasted for a good seven months until March 12th happened and our entire world was put on pause. Most of us spent our sophomore year entirely online. Our junior year was filled with a rude awakening of adjusting to the normal demands of in-person school that just no longer felt normal. And that leads us to where we are now, our senior year, a year full of future decisions, college commitments, and the standstill D3 hallway. See, one section of every single English rubric that I've ever seen is focus. No matter how obscure your argument can be in an essay, if you're consistent in arguing what you believe in, your essay is going to be effective. In our own lives, I encourage you to focus on following your dreams. Create milestones and expectations for yourself to stay motivated. Even if it may not seem like the orthodox packs of doing something, follow what you love to do, because that's what's going to make you happy doing it. Another particular aspect of a rubric that I've always struggled with is that column on the end, which I dreaded, creativity. It always seems so open-ended and obscure to determine what can actually be seen as unique. However, I realized that the more that I focused on my personal strengths and principles, it was so much easier to express myself in a way that reflected who I was. To all the graduating seniors here today, I encourage you to never forget to demonstrate who you are. All you need to do is look through the A building right there, and you're going to see mounds of robotics members, musicians, artists, and theater students. There is no question. The talent found in Danbury High School is second to none. So don't let the side effects of adulting compromise your passions and your creativity. All this time, we've all been receiving the same type of rubrics. But after today, there is no longer a single set of guidelines that each of us will follow. As I mentioned earlier, the thought of having complete freedom to say whatever I wanted was scary. But in reality, this new phase of life is nothing to fear. It's the experiences you and I have had our entire lives that have prepared us for a moment like this. The diverse environment of Danbury High School has instilled in us the values of empathy, hard work, and kindness that will follow us wherever we go. Although it may be daunting, I have come to one conclusion, that there is no single rubric for the future. Instead, in a world where conformity is celebrated, it's time that we set up and set a new standard for ourselves. Now before I close, I would like each of the graduates to look to the person on their left, and now look to the person on your right, and now you can look back at me. Remember these faces. This is the class of 2023. We will be producing the best doctors, lawyers, teachers, administrators, artists, first responders, and so much world more. Each and every one of us has the potential to leave a great impact. Today, Danbury, tomorrow the world. Congratulations to the class of 2023. God bless you all. I would like to invite Senator Kushner to the microphone to say a few words.
Representative Cholesky, uh, we have a citation for you if you want to come up. And as you're walking up, let me just say that uh, I sat on the other side of the fence here three times when my children graduated from Danbury High School. And so I know all of the parents sitting there, this is a moment of extreme pride. And I still remember that feeling being here today. It's just a wonderful experience. And for all of you students, everything Hope said about your dreams and your possibilities is absolutely true. And I know we can count on you um, to carry forth and bring our city and our state and the whole country, wherever you land, to a better place. So. We have a citation. It's from the state of Connecticut, the General Assembly. It's an official citation introduced by myself, Senator Kushner, and Representative Cholesky, also Representatives Ali Brennan, Callahan, Santos, and Godfrey. And it says, be it hereby known to all, the Connecticut General Assembly offers its sincerest congratulations to Hope Thomas in recognition of being named Danbury High School Class of 2023 Valedictorian. Your outstanding academic achievement with a cumulative 4.993 GPA has earned you this position of distinction amongst your peers. Your compassion, hard work, and discipline is evident in your commitment to advocate for those in these. Congratulations on this well-deserved honor. We are certain you will continue to be a force of change in all you do. The entire membership extends its very best wishes on this memorable occasion and expresses the hope for continued success. And it's signed by the President of the Senate, the Speaker of the House, and the Secretary of the State. Congratulations. Oh my God. Thank you so much. <laughs> I would like to now invite Mayor Esposito back to the podium. Thank you very much, my friend. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I'd like to uh, ask our chairman of the Board of Ed to come up with me. We, too, have a citation here, a mayor's citation, a citation from the, the citizens of Danbury to Hope Thomas, Danbury High School Class of 2023 Valedictorian. Congratulations on your outstanding academic achievement. God bless you. Congratulations. Our first student-selected speaker, Nadia Alam, will now share some of her thoughts with us. Can I move this down? Okay. Okay. Bondo Evong Poriva, Apnader Shabakeshagatam. Good evening, Mayor Esposito, Board of Education Chairperson Petra Fesa, Superintendent Walston, esteemed members of the Board of Education, Mr. Donovan, dedicated faculty, proud parents, supportive friends, and the incredible members of the class of 2023. As I stand in front of you, I'm thankful and in wonder. We're here to celebrate our successes and to commemorate the shared paths that has shaped us into the resilient and diverse individuals we are today. I want to reflect on our high school years, acknowledge our challenges, and highlight the immense potential of welcoming diversity. We had no idea just how much our lives would change when we strolled these hallways as timid freshmen. New beginnings, initial exhilaration gradually gave away to doubt and difficulties. And after having our first year cut off, um, 
Cut in half, we had to start navigating the uncharted waters of virtual learning. Whether the annoyance of erratic Wi-Fi connections or the want for in-person conversation with our friends, we endured, we changed, and we became more crucial than ever. We're so lucky to have connections with people from various areas of life at our very large and very populated high school. In every lesson, every conversation, in every relationship, we have made. Diversity has evolved into the beating heart of our high school. Our differences, not our similarities, make up the beauty of our mosaic. Interacting with individuals from diverse cultural backgrounds who speak distinct languages or possess varying viewpoints has broadened our horizons and enhanced our comprehension, leading us to have some of the best years of our lives. I want to take this opportunity to extend my heartfelt gratitude to the exceptional educators and personnel who have exerted tremendous effort in facilitating our cognitive growth, motivating our ambitions, and imparting the significance of accepting diversity. They've aided us by providing opportunities, challenging our critical thinking, and generating a constant drive to learn new things. We owe them a duty of gratitude for the numerous hours they have invested in choosing our destiny. We want to thank our parents for their unfailing support throughout our trip. You have been our unwavering rock, our light in the darkness, and our advocates when we felt insecure. As observers, we witnessed your unwavering trust in our abilities, facilitated by your affection and selfless acts on our behalf. And as we conclude our years in these crowded halls and move forward to brighter horizons, let us carry the lessons we've learned, the friendships we've made, and the memories we've cherished. With our hearts filled with hope and determination, may we embrace the challenges that lie ahead, knowing that our time here has prepared us for the journey. Always remember that our willingness to be true to ourselves is a strength to be appreciated rather than a weakness to be conquered. Let's treasure the relationships we've built, the memories we've created, and the priceless lessons we've gained from others. Let us actively, understand, let us actively pursue understanding, awe, and celebration of variety as we travel over the globe rather than just accepting it. Maya Angelou once stated, it's time for parents to teach young children that in diversity there is beauty and strength. So let's challenge the current status quo, examine old-fashioned notions, and embrace, embrace the richness that diversity brings to our lives. It's time for us to foster an inclusive society where everyone's unique perspectives and experiences are valued and celebrated. Let us break free from the limitations of narrow-mindedness and open ourselves up to a world of endless possibilities. As we embark on our journey beyond this institution, let us challenge prejudice, dismantle stereotypes, and create spaces where all individuals can thrive and contribute. We surmounted impossible obstacles and came out stronger and more resolute than ever before. We've experienced joy, sorrow, tears, and growth together. We've established relationships that will last a lifetime and are now a part of one another's stories. I hope these viewpoints and ex experiences will stick with us as we travel through life, and that these fundamental lessons will allow you to be change agents, justice crusaders, and defenders of diversity. Finally, wherever our paths may take us, let us carry the spirit of cooperation, energy, and diversity inside us. Let's set an example for others by becoming the change we want to see in the world. Only by acting now can we create a future that represents the strength and beauty of our mosaic. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2023.
I would like to introduce our second selected speaker, Lila Schlitzel. Bienvenidos a todos y mis más sinceras felicitaciones a los graduados. Me gustaría reconocer a todos los, los estudiantes que están aquí hoy y todo el trabajo duro que han hecho para llegar aquí. Good afternoon to all of the attendees of the Danbury High School Class of 2023 Commencement Ceremony. I want to extend my thanks to Mayor Esposito, Board of Education Chairperson Petra Fesa, the members of the Board of Education, Superintendent Walston, Principal Donovan, and all of the DHS faculty, parents, and guardians for the support they have given their students to reach this milestone of their lives. I'd invite my fellow members of the Class of 2023 to also extend their gratitude to their supporters. My name is Lila Schlissel, and I somehow convinced a panel of class representatives and staff to let me pontificate for the next five minutes. The end is near. Freedom has been flirting with us for weeks, tugging at our toes like waves in the sand. Pretty soon, we'll be released to the open sea and uninterrupted horizon. And yet, even though we are here to recognize the end of our high school journey, we are also here to recognize the beginning of another journey, another hill to climb. There's a figure in Greek mythology who spends eternity in the underworld pushing a stone up a hill, only for it to roll back down when he reaches the top, Sisyphus. Right now, it feels like we're cresting one hill, the horizon beginning to peek out from behind it. And yet, undoubtedly, we will find ourselves at the foot of another hill in the future, wondering how we, like Sisyphus, have found the strength to continue pushing. Right now, that boulder looks like a big slab of listening to me relish in the potential of the indomitable human spirit. Bear with me, we're almost there. Sure, Sisyphus's story is simply a Greek myth. But humans persevere. There's something, something so uniquely human about perseverance. The defiance of it. The idea of stepping on God's toes and taunting fate. Of pushing a boulder up a hill again and again and again and again and again. Why do we go on? We will become engineers and artists, writers and managers, tradespeople and service members and doctors. There is a spider web of paths stemming from the students graduating today. And through it all, one shared thread, our humanity. Some might call it a spark, a flame, a heartbeat. To me, it's a hunger. I first encountered this hunger, unsurprisingly, here at DHS. There is a special group of students who hunger to create and do so with their words. The writers here welcomed me into their circle with open arms and exposed me to their hunger. Their words invaded my ears, burrowing into my brain like parasites until I too had a pain in my stomach, an ache in my side, and hungered to create, to write, to explore and express and eat the world whole. I'm sure most of you would agree that DHS isn't perfect. You certainly can't get an open stall in a D3 bathroom midday or walk from the athletics wing to the art building with either being winded or exceptionally late. But here at DHS, I've seen hunger in every realm. Athletes who hunger to win, musicians who hunger to inspire, artists who hunger to express. Hunger is nurtured in every form. What I can say is this. Find your hunger, whatever it may be. Find what makes your heart ache, your gut pain, sets a fire in your belly, and keeps you pushing your boulder up the hill. I think our hunger is who we are as humans. What makes our gut ache, that, that is what makes us different from one another. So having a passion different from someone else, it's not wrong. It might be scary, sure, but I urge you to follow that tug to medicine or finance or film. Follow that tug to wherever it may lead you. I'd argue that we're born with an innate craving to persevere, even against the most daunting odds. Sure, perseverance doesn't feel particularly appealing when it's 11.30 and you have an unbegun 10-page paper due in 29 minutes. 
But we always find a way. We have built families and cities and civilizations, invented electricity and film and created art. We have built schools like this one, with staff who hunger to inspire and nurture and teach. We have pers persisted, and we will become the ones who hunger, who find their paths because of the fires in their bellies. As I see it, life is far too short to simply let yourself be swept away by the tide that is freedom, by the tide that is fast approaching, by the tide that threatens to break over our heads this very second. It is far too easy to subdue your hunger, to let the boulder roll back down the hill and stay there. Yes, the tide is fast approaching, and we will rise to meet it, with hunger in our bellies and wind in our sails. The tide is fast approaching, and we have our compasses. The tide is fast approaching, and freedom is just within our grasp, and we are primed to plunge into the sea. Thank you. Principal Donovan will now address the graduating class of 2023 on behalf of the faculty. Yeah. Uh, one thing's definitely sure, I'm going first next year. I got the mayor's stealing stuff, I, I don't know where to go now. But for all those in attendance and watching at home, I'm about to blow up your bingo cards. COVID, pandemic, corona, vaccine, Zoom, miss, quarantine, DLPs, DLF, cancellations. That should wipe everybody out. How was that? There's no bingos yet. This is the last you'll hear from me on those topics because those words do not define the class of 2023. Every principal will tell you that all graduating classes are special ones. Some will say the first is more special, and I can understand that. Some will say the last one is the more special, and I can feel that as well. But for me, I've been lucky to have two more super special classes to add, the class of 21 and this class, the class of 23. What many of you may not know is I've known some of these students since kindergarten, some before that, Grace Ryan. I followed this group up through the Magnet School, then through Broadview with some kick-butt PBL projects. I've coached some of them in lacrosse and football back when Rocco, Mason, Mike Snow, Jordan, Chain all ran around the fields of Danbury. And I am privileged to say that I even knew Aiden Meist when he was under six feet tall. <laughs> Where are you? There he is, ladies and gentlemen. That was a while ago. Because of that, this class holds a special place for me. Most principals get four years. I've been lucky enough to watch this class for a long time. In the beginning of the year, this class and I, we gathered in the auditorium. We talked about what it's like to lead, what it meant to be leaders in the building, and what it meant to show up and grind every day. I challenged them to lead us back to make DHS one of the best places and best high schools in the state of Connecticut, and they responded. You responded by starting the year off with what we hope is a new tradition at DHS, a school-wide pep rally. To be honest, when first approached about the idea, I wasn't loving it. Thought of putting 3,600 students in the bleachers didn't thrill me, but they did it. We discussed the idea. You looked at me and said, we got this. You planned and set the standards for the other grades, and it was a great day. As we left that day, I knew this class was unique. As an academic class, you've earned over $100,000 in scho academic schol thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars in academic scholarships. Over 100,000 money came from in-house and sponsored donation. More impressive than that is the money that was earned through your capstone projects, peer leadership, and service organizations. You've raised and donated more than any other class to local service agencies such as Dorothy Day, Western Connecticut Food Pantry, and national organizations such as St. Jude and Smile Train. That right there lets everyone know that your commitment to the community is only as strong as your work ethic. Outside the classroom, you've competed with grace and won with honor. You had a robotics team that only made, that only, not only made the VEX World Championships, but made it to the quarterfinals. Now, for those that understand, that's the quarterfinals of a world tournament. On the basketball court, you had a group of seniors that led this team to the first FCAC Championships 2018. Uh, and the next part I copied from my last two speeches. You had a cheerleading team that once again won everything. 
We had the return to, of our DHS musical, which was in less than a two month time frame, just reiterated the notion that the talent within the DH, the walls of DHS is awesome. This year's yearbook was themed around the word pause, taking time within your busy lives to reflect on that journey. Think about the connections you made, think about the connections you didn't make, and how to make them better. You are sitting here today thinking excited and nervous about the next phase of your life, post high school. But at some time this evening, after dinner, after the party's over and the congratulations have stopped, pause, take a moment, and think about what you've done over the past 12 years of your school career. I'm lucky enough to wish you good luck, shake your hand, and be the one to make this speech. But it's definitely a community of teachers, city leaders, and the community that took part in your education. It's not just about what you did this year or what you did the past four, but what you've done since kindergarten, what you did in middle school, what you did on those fields, stages, arenas, and courts. All of it together is a accumulation of who you are and the journey you have been on. From where I've seen it, you should be very proud of yourselves. A tradition I started seven years ago is to give each of you a carnation located on your seat. The carnation is a unique gift from me to you. The carnation is intended for someone, not for you, who helped you throughout your life. Someone you made a connection with, someone who supported you, someone you feel deserves it. It could be a teacher, a, se a sibling, a friend, parent, grandparent, aunt and uncle. But take a moment, pause as you're sitting there, and think on this beautiful day about someone, 24 hours later, who helped you get where you are today. When you see them, you hand them that flower and you tell them why. It's easy to send it through a text sometimes, things like that. I want you to say it to them face to face. Why are you giving them that flower? While many people at DHS deserve to have carnations every day, I must give mine this year to veteran teacher Rich Holmes. Mr. Holmes is a DHS teacher who passed away on June 4th. Some of you may know Mr. Holmes as a 30-year veteran who spent all of his time in the classroom. Or maybe you knew him as a coach. Mr. Holmes spent almost as long on the sidelines of the football fields and baseball diamonds as he did in the classroom. Or maybe as a colleague who spent over 20 years at the DHS Soul Studies Department. Or lastly, you may have known Rich as a friend, a person you knew you could go ask any question and get a thoughtful answer. I was lucky enough to miss both to me professionally and personally. When we coached together here at DHS, after the last practice of the week, the football team always gathered in the middle of the field. The coaches would talk about the upcoming game, and when it came to Coach Holmes' turn to speak, he would always end with his thoughts by saying one phrase, the hay is in the barn. First time the team hears it, they have no idea what he's talking about. By their time they're seniors, and they're about to be done with their last season, they can end the sentence. What it means is the work is done. You are prepared. You have worked hard, and it's time to go play the game. Class of 23, your work is done. You are prepared. You have worked hard. It's time for you to go play. For you, the class of 23, the hay is in the barn. It is time for you to move forward and make us all proud. And as the mayor said earlier, because he stole it from me, remember, once a hatter, always a hatter. I love you guys. Good night. I'd like to introduce our Danbury High School Senior Class President, Casey Ramos. <laughs> Hello, my fellow Hatters. I want to first start off by giving a big thank you to Mayor Esposito, the Board of Education, Chairperson Petra Fesa, Student Intent Superintendent Watson, members of the Board of Education, Mr. Donovan, faculty, parents, friends, and our two advisors, Ms. Smith and Ms. McCullough, for all being with us during this special time. With their efforts, we are all able to be here today graduating. It has been the greatest honor to serve as your class president and to celebrate this momentous occasion with you all today. While some of y'all were a little crazy at times, I've loved every single moment. But I have to be real. Hey! <laughs> At the beginning of my four-year term, I was always afraid to speak in front of you all. They say the eyes are a window to a person's soul, but I believe it is a voice that truly reveals who someone is. And while all vocal cords vibrate to make a sound, it's the breathy, 
or booming, possibly shrill, and all other characteristics of a voice that makes people choose to listen or ignore. With this high voice of mine, a new insecurity formed. Constant feelings of judgment followed me whenever I spoke, with others pushing labels on me and looking at me as if they had heard the most ridiculous thing ever. I felt ashamed to speak and wanted to keep quiet, never voicing my own opinions. Every day, it would be a comment from an older uncle or cousin of mine telling me to stop sounding like that. Fellow peers that disliked me because they found my voice annoying whenever I spoke in class or heard me in the halls. This carried over to whenever I spoke in Spanish with my family. Con mis cuerdas vocales chirantes que no emparajaban bien en un acento. As a hate towards how I sounded made it hard to speak my own language. Feeling as if the world wanted to keep me quiet and make me feel ashamed to, doc, to talk, I, did this, I decided to speak out against it which led me here, speaking in front of all of you. There will be many moments in your own life when discouragement will follow you as you choose to speak out. Whether it's because you feel your voice may be physically wrong or what you are saying may be a little too controversial or out of line. Maybe you're at work and concerned for the safety of your coworkers or in a class and feel a professor is assigning too much work. Speak and let your voice ring. Your voice is a tool that can be used for standing up for what is right rather than what is easy. And yes, there will be those who choose to use their voice in direct contrast to your own, either by talking over you or by booing. But you must be unafraid to speak when the time is right. A voice gives your opinions a platform and gives you with the opportunity to give perspective and knowledge on things that matter. No two voices are the same, and each voice has something different to say. Every single one of your voices here in front of me matters and there are many that I will always remember. También quiero hablar con, mis, con los hispanohablantes en la audiencia, donde el inglés no es su primer idioma, y la belleza de la lengua materna lo sigue en un acento cada vez que hablan inglés. Nunca te avergüences de la forma en que tu voz puede sonar mientras hablas. La capacidad de, de entender dos idiomas solo ayuda a garantizar que sus opiniones se escuchan dos veces. Ese acento debe ser un recordatorio orgulloso de quién eres y de dónde vienes. And I want to give <laughs> mi gente latino. <laughs> And I want to give a special shout out to my mom who gave me this voice. I wouldn't be up here today if you didn't fight every day in order for me to use it. It always told me to be proud of myself whenever I thought my voice was my major flaw. I love you, mom. Te amo mucho. It's important to not let yourself become silenced because when a voice is not used, you yourself will never be represented. Good luck, my fellow peers, in your future endeavors. And may you choose to let your voices soar. And for one last time, my name is Casey Ramos, and I approve of this message. <laughs> Congratulations, class of 2023.
of the Madrigals, please return to your seats. I would like to introduce our Board of Education Chairperson, Mr. Ralph Petrofessa. <laughs> so next time, I'm gonna, I want to go before the students because I mean, these speeches, mine is just one long run-on sentence and not going to be grammatically correct either. You'll, you'll see. And, and also, sorry about the last name, guys. Um, you know, I'm not even sure what it's supposed to sound like anymore either, so uh, don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> so here we go. So on behalf of the Danbury Board of Education, I'd like to welcome family, friends, teachers, staff, and of course the class of... 2023. So typically when I speak at an event like this, it's uh, usually about myself. Today's not really going to be different, but <laughs> um, it's more about a feeling that I have about Danbury High School. Danbury High School is, is a great place that offers a lot of opportunity and pretty much has something for everyone. But I know it could also be a difficult place as well. Um, I have two kids that graduated from, from Danbury High School. Um, so to navigate or survive, I should say, the four years uh, and to be here today is, is pretty impressive and we're proud of you. So as you start your journey away from Danbury High School, I really don't have any profound message or, or advice um, because your decisions are your own. Um, but I do want to say, I'm not sure if you heard it here tonight before, once a hatter, always a hatter, and Danbury will always be here for you. So congratulations and good luck.
the superintendent of the Danbury Public Schools, Mr. Kevin Walston. Good evening, everyone. Um, so I, I, I just want to start with, um, I'm, I'm not really sure who to blame for this, so I'll just blame Principal Donovan. Um, so Principal Donovan, number one, uh, the students um, have, have done, done an, an amazing, amazing job speaking, speaking today. today. Um, and Casey, I know, I know you're about, about to graduate, graduate so, so I guess I, guess I really I can't blame you. That's why I'm going to blame the principal. The principal but, but we're all crying over there. Maybe you can give us a heads up about your speech next time uh, so we can all hold it together as we come into the podium after you guys. Uh, thank you so much. You guys were absolutely amazing. Thank you. Uh, Mayor Esposito, members of the Board of Education, Board Chair Petrofessor, parents, friends, relatives, staff, and most importantly, the Danbury High School Class of 2023. I'm truly honored to be able, able to, to congratulate, congratulate you on this momentous day. day. I want to start off by thanking the families here today. Throughout your child's education, you've worked alongside our teachers, counselors, and principals as we've navigated through some challenging times, particularly these last few years. For many of you, I know tonight is sort of a graduation for you as well. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for your partnership and dedication to your child's education. To our staff, thank you for all you have done to help our students these last four years in particular. The lessons you have taught and the memories you have made will remain with our students for the rest of our lives. And I just ask that everyone please give our staff a round of applause. Today is commencement. People often assume the word means the end of something or the completion of something, but it actually means the beginning. I find it fitting that the end of high school is actually called the beginning. And the adults, and the adults that you are sharing this space with this evening can tell you that it really is the beginning. So what is this the beginning of? Well, that really depends on you and what you do with the tools and skills you have developed over the last 12 to 13 years you have been here in Danbury. Each of you are in possession of varying degrees of these five critical traits that make up of what we call the Danbury portrait of the graduate. You are all what we call advocates, collaborators, communicators, innovators, and learners. These skills are tools that you will carry with you, that you can deploy, use, and draw upon at any point you might need in your life. It's like a tool belt for a superhero, except your tools and established portrait of a graduate powers will help you excel professionally, socially, politically, and yes, financially. With these new superpowers, Know that this next chapter in your lives is sure to be an exciting one, filled with peaks and valleys, new people, and new experiences. The experiences and education you've accumulated over the last 12, 13 years will now prepare you for the new adventures that some of us don't even know are waiting for us. But please know that the foundation of skills and knowledge you have built in your time at Danbury is one that we all believe will serve you well wherever you go. Remember this on your journey, because the road ahead looks promising for you all. Class of 2023, congratulations. we have all been waiting for and worked so hard for the presentation of diplomas.
gotta move the other one. Ramos. E. Nunyan. Kayla Taylor. Joran Churiel. Jennifer Barra. Lila Schlissel. Hope Thomas. Nadia Alam. Abigail Abraham, Jamie Lynch, Mutaz Abtan, Janice Lira, Angelina Acevedo, Jaden Lithcott, Darlin Acosta Diaz, Gisela Manchella, Ashlyn Adames, Nicole Machado. Jalen Adames. Emily Mattis. Zainab Ahmed. Nicholas Madera. New Idenowski. Jefferson Magales. Humera Actor. Jenab Mohammed. Devin Alexander. Aiden Makepeace. Sierra Almonte. John Maldonado. <laughs> Fabian Alonzo. Haley Maloney. Elliot Alonzo. Ariana Manfort. Christian Alvarez. Suda Mangalram. Gabriela Alvarez Criolo. Aaron Mantar. Alvin Alvarez Ventura. Jacqueline Marin. Matthews Alves. Jonathan Marin. Arden Amalfitano. David Marin. Erica Ame Bokanzaka. Jack Markowitz. Clever Ame Bokanzaka. Haley Marks. Arthur Amorian. Miguel Marquez. 
Valerie Aponsa. Eliana Marrero. Daniel Andrade. Ariana Martinez. Victoria Andrade. Brandon Martinez. Ashley Anguanzaca. Darwin Martinez. Marat Antana. Let's go! Emily Martinez. Anna Apollinario. Rosalind Monteros. Diana Apollo Vasquez. Carlos Martinez Cartagena. Sofia Arujo. Claudia Martinez Martinez. Natalia Argueta Tercios. Samantha Martino. Paulina Arias. Alexander Masalo. Cesar Arneo Ordonos. Rudy Mateus. Lenny Arroyo. <laughs> Nakari Matista. <laughs> Bazila Asif. <laughs> Destiny Matos. <laughs> Janie Asmel. <laughs> Hattie Maxwell. Jose Astudio Andrade. Avriana McDermott. Jerry Avila. Megan Medeiros. Roxana Ayala. Morgan Medeiros. Luis Ayavaca. Daviana Melendez. Randy Abar. Jason Mendoza. Kiera Bacalar. Yeah, yeah. Heidi Elena Mershon. Eleanor Baker. Yeah. Hannah Matrina. Leroy Balam. Aiden Meist. Gia Barbarin. Angela Meza. Naomi Barnes. Allison Michelle. True Barnes. Nia McKell. Catherine Barnett. Jaden Menchella. Anthony Barros. Azalea Mogul. Ariana Barros. Ishmael Mogo. Mildred Baserto. Brandon Molina. Mariana Batista. Caitlin Monroy Sosa. Terenique Bartley. Isabella Montero Sanchez. Nora Bacali. Kiara Moore. Cadence Belton. Angeli Morales. Natalie Benalcazar. Giselle Morales. Misael Benavides. Carlos Morocho. Larissa Benedetti. Israel Moscoso. Nora Benson Beckman. Daniela Mojoso Sohos. Christo Bernalbi. Daniel Masteller. Aliyah Bischoff. Leticia Mora. Asad Blackwell. Luana Mora. Aaron Bleeker. Morgan Muller. Faith Blocker. Olivia Muller. Heather Bothwell. Samantha Murray. Amasia Brandon. Jack Naylor. Janelle Brooks. Nasher Nassar. Kevin Nassar. Bra Aileen Bravo. Katie Nova. 
Sabella Brimage. Wendy Nola. Derek Brito. Jefferson Nawagar. Ronald Browning Baudet. Malene Nepeman. Trisha Bulsara. Kaiki Nebs. Louis Burgos. Maria Neves. Emily Burton. Zoe Newbold. Bianca Butera. Matthew Newton. Alana Kaba. Benjamin Nguyen. Alex Kaba. Kenya Nieto. Edison Cabrero Llanos. Constantina Nieves. Sky Kane. Ahil Nishad. Johanna Kajamarka. Matthew Norkowski. Henry Kajamarka Salinas. Lauren Nova Flores. Nicholas Kalari. John Nugra. Brandon Calderon. Jason Nugra Valverde. Brianni Kali. Stacy Nunez. Angel Camaros. Karali Nunez Olivio. Abraham Campos. Carolyn Nunez Olivio. Hugo Canaan Cortez. Robner Nunez Torres. Avery Canning. James O'Hara. Brian Carcaldi. Marco Ochoa. Nicholas Cardenas. Crystal Orgando Vasquez. Saul Carlos. Alex Olivier. Logan Carvalho. Mikey Olivia. Paula Castillo. Kimberly Olivia. Allison Castro. Emily Olivia De Silva. Karen Castro. Lindsay Ondek. Tommy Catalano. Fernando Orlena. Natalia Caterino. Christopher Orr. Rafiq Cotto. Joshua James Orr. Nicole Cavalli. Sergio Ortega. Jose Cazorla. Alexandra Maribel Ortiz. Cayenne Casorla. Jonathan Ortiz. Chris Santino. Joey Osborne. Kaylin Jessere. Lisbeth Orsano Remigio. Erica Chacho Patin. Stalin Parchar. Alexander Chacon. Jerry Padilla. Keyshawn Chan. Gina Panez. Andrew Chaplo. Michelle Panay. Quentin Chapman. Tiana Amelia Panova. Eladio Chavez. Marissa Parker. Marco Chavez. Ishan Patel. Carolyn Checo. Sahil Patel. Alice Chen. Mila Pat. Jarina Chen. Ronnie Patino. Sierra Chanel. Kayla Patterson. Tiffany Chewett. Alice Pavati. Isabel Shafalo. Maya Pelicone. Jonathan Chimbo. Stephanie 
Stephanie Peralta Ponce. Joseph Chin. Alani Pena. Leslie Shunier. Nelson Pena Olivio. Carly Siempla. Matthew Jordan Panera. Jennifer Samini. Andrew Pieria. Liam Clark. Gabrielle Pieria. Crystal Angela Cladera. Robert Machado Pieria. Amir Clemens. Elijah Willie Perez. DJ Kochi. Jefferson Alexander Perez. Jay Cochinsell. Jacinia Perez. Aria Ko. Lillian Perez. Anna Rita Coelho. Ellie Nelsi Perez Ventura. McKaylee Coles. Kushan Perkins. Kellen Colwell. Jason Pisantes. Nicholas Concheco. Hannah Peterson. Lizzie Contreras. Isabel Tan. Jane Coppola. Derek Pratt. Michaela Cormier. Justice Finske. Michaela Cornell. Mia Penalt. Gabriella Koss. Mateo Palsincia. Julia Cosendi. Leslie Posadas. Vinicius Costa. Ian Pryor. Paige Cotto. Mason Hughes. Daniel Craig. Rocco Hughes. Legend Crawford. Angela Fuga. Brianna Cregan. Naomi Fugo Pato. Elder Cruz. Arnold Puma. Harry Cruz. Declan Quinn. Julissa Cruz. John Quisby. Omar Cruz. Darwin Quizippi. Raul Cruz. Zang Qureshi. Yolanda Cruz Guevara. Saristi Ramaskishan. Michael Kurai. Byron Ramirez. Stephanie Cuenca. Janelle Rolando Ramirez. Emma Curry. Natalie Ramon. Olivia Curry. Leslie Ramos. Justin Sear. Marcella Ramos. Caroline D'Angelo. Sarita Ramos Perez. Catherine D'Angelo. Ibram Razan. Igor De Silva. Alicia Reyna. Ingrid De Silva. Jada Randall. Soren Dahlstrom. Crystal Jean Marie Prophet. Karen Damasino. Lizette Ramundo. Sahil Dand. Jack Rita. Anastella De Silva. Sophia Renteria. Brandon Davis. Vivian Renteria. Brian De Jesus. Ryan Reyes. Francisco De La Cruz Torres. Daryl Reyes. Miguel De Lima. Amberless Reyes. Annalise De Oliveira. Radesha Reyes. Tiago De Barros. Kimberly Reyes. Samantha De Bonis. J. Marie Reynosa. Amanda De Furia. Carol Rico. Olivia De Furia. Diana Rivas. Alex Delce De La Cruz. Doris Rivas. Dibel Del Rosario. Kimberly Rivas. Gennaro Del Vecchio. 
Angel Riviera. Maria Alice D'Souza. Ariana Riviera. Harleen Dillon. Jalen Riviera. Geraldine Diaz Sagustame. Stephanie Batista. Caroline Dixon. Tawny Tito. Joshua Dion. Clevison Smith. Angela DiPietro. Joel Macias. Nicole DiPietro. Taylor Calderon. Diego Disla. William Scalzo. Jacob Ditcher. Ashley Sanchez. Lila Gilani. Natalia Tineska. Alex Avery Domingo. Bryce Evans. Marielis Dominguez. Brayden Evans. Christian Dominguez Tapia. Angel Marquicho Golupa. Nicali Donacimento. Rachel Roberts. Kyle De Santos. Denard Roach. Marcus Dos Santos. Julia Rodriguez. Kayleen Dota. Giselle Rodriguez. Imani Downing. Lorena Rodriguez Martins. Kevin Duchemesa. Andre Rodriguez. Elizabeth Duffelmeyer. Christian Rodriguez. Aliyah Dunbar. Emily Rodriguez. Christian Duran. Eva Rodriguez. Lizbeth Duran. Isaiah Rodriguez. Jasmine Duran Gill. Javier Rodriguez. Hope Durkin. Mikey Rodriguez. Raymond Alumba. Mason Rodriguez. Matthew Eminger. Summer Rodriguez. Danielle Encalada. Toriana Rowe. Alexi Espinal. Talena Rogers. Yareen Espinal. Joseph Romano. Matthew Evanuska. Danny Romero. Alyssa Fabian. Armani Rosa. Noah Fagan. Genesis Rosario. Kier Fassbender. Jonas Rosario. Elvia Fajardo. Rafaelina Rosario. Kelly Fajardo Vasquez. Daniel Rosario Pujols. Sophia Fenaroli. Juliana Rosa. Dean Faratovic. Dylan Rosencrux. Delon Faratovic. Dylan Rowell. Jordan Fernandez. Aiden Robso. Isabella Ferreira. Jillian Rubin. Julia Clara Ferreira. Bianca Russo. Joseph Ferreira. Grace Bryan. William Gordon. Jonathan Sacramento. Justin Figueredo. Kenny Sands. Jake Fiorita. Mayerly Salazar. Jillian Fitzpatrick. Yostin Salazar. Olivia Flynn. Fernanda Salinas. Aaron Fallis. Kate Salvador. Michelle Fonseca. Anna Mary Semingio. Maria Francisco. Kevin Semingio. Ellie Franco. Jared Samnith. Gabrielle Fritas. Dante Samuels. Jayton Gaba. Catherine San Martin. Jennifer Galarza. Jonathan Sinago. Joel Galarza. Aldo Sanchez. Camilo Garcia. Ashley Jacqueline Sanchez. Joel Garcia. 
Fatima Sanchez. Noel Garcia. Haley Sanchez. Esmerlane Garcia Espinal. Leanna Sanchez. Juliana Garcia Moreno. Lucrecia Sanchez. Helen Garcia Payan. Luigi Sanchez. Eddie Garza Absun. Steven Sanchez. William Gibson. Jessica Sengfet. Tolula Going. Benjamin Severino. Andrea Gomez. Austin Santana. Victoria Gomez. Laiusa Santana. Antonio Gonzalez. Jalacy Santana Carmona. Adrian Gonzalez. Yaritza Santana Jimenez. Andrea Gonzalez. Amanda Santos. Iker Gonzalez. Bryant Santos. Cassandra Gonzalez. Jamel Santos. Andre Gonzalez Fuentes. D. Santana. Madeline Gores. Kimberly Santos. Kwan Gular. Brian Squinzella. Angelina Greathouse. Aiden Saravia. Neville Gray. Andy Sargona Mascus. Belinda Guachin. A.V. Sari Alvarez. Esteban Giaias Oliver. Erica Sari. Marilyn Guapa. Aaron Schechter. Evelyn Guaman. Thomas Sopa. Franklin Guaman. Brady Schultz. Michelle Guaman. Aiden Scott. Stephanie Guaman Jarez. Amik Scott. Layla Guarquila. Austin Scott. Joshua Garcia. Ian Scott. Jesus Guaman Luzon. Haley Seaman. Nathan Guerra. Nayeli Sagria. Yasmeri Guerrero. Jennifer Sierra. Grace Gundek. Brianna Sexton. Chloe Gutman. Chloe! Andrew Shafto. Casey Guzman. Jason Singuiza. Natusha Guzman. Snyder Saguinza. Nayeli Guzman. Anna Silva. Anthony Hackert. Joelle Silva. Juliana Haddad. Jordan Silva. Dale Hamed. Stephanie Silva. Mason Hanbury. Emily Silva Brito. Derek Hand. David Silva Suiz. Suiza. Robert Hannigan. Samia Silvers. Brennan Harrigan. Alexander Slujic. Sandra Hassanai. Maya Snipes. Joshua Haysmith. Michael Snow. Christian Enriquez. Andy Somerset. Laura Henriquez. Morgan Soriento. Alicia Hernandez. Wisville Sosa. Chelsea Hernandez. Gilherme Sosa. Giselle Hernandez. Gustavo Sosa. Raymond Hernandez. Jennifer Souza. Angelica Hernandez Castro. Erica Souza Silva. Emmeline Hernandez Burgos. Sanaya Spinello. Kaylee Herrera Parnell. Daniela Spratt. Joaquin Hewitt. Seth Springer. David Hidalgo. Erica Stave. Cora House. Maria Stratidis. Michaela Howard. Emily Suarez. Oreen Howard. Jimmy Suarez. Charlene Human. 
Karen Skazansky. Emily Huerta. Adesia Tabora. Omar Granados. Aiden Tabora. Raymond Huertas. Tiana Taft. Jocelyn Horacho. Catherine Tapia. Brittany Hurtado. Juan Tavares. Layla Jazzy. Paleo Tavares Yemenez. Edward Iescas. Angel Tejada Mendez. Nope. Manny Iescas. Dominican Tidcom Guaman. Stuart Infante. Tommy Timpugwe. Kevin Inga Narvaez. Andrea Odalis Tipan Asvindil. Lila Jalone. Shreja Terla. Karen Jara. Sophia Theris. Juan Jarama. Kishan Thomas. Christian Jeffers. Nicholas Threat. Ariana Jimenez Acaza. Karen Tiago. Gabriella John. Layla Toglango Ramaji. Curtis Johnson. Mm -hmm. Abigail Torres. Rosina Johnston. Ariana Torres. Atia Jones. Eric Torres. Emma Joseph. Jason Torres. Zachary Joseph. Tessa Trigala. Sharva Karthakian. AJ Singh. Charlotte Keith. Mariana Tremazis. David King. Ingrid Trinidad. Luna Lavender Kittredge. Wayan Tu. Audrey Podar. Nicholas Tuno. Edward Kofor. Gabriel Tercius. Gabriella Kofor. Tai Tiong. Reagan Lawler. Samantha Ogari. Jeffrey Landero. David Urena. Donna Lopez. Victor Urena. Jasmine Laura. Sandy Uzo Mateo. Joseph Liardini. Justin Villaggio. Caitlin Lee. Eduardo Venegas Marquin. Caitlin Lahaney. Kurt Van Zook. Victoria Leite. Johnny Vasquez. Amani Lindo. Kelly Vasquez Revelo. Jamie Loja. Kimberly Vasquez Lozano. Michaela Loja. Brian Vega Lopes. Bianca Lopes. <laughs> Elizabeth Velez. Maisa Lechi. Andres Vera. Christina Lopez. Ashley Vieira. Pamela Lopez. Natasha Villa. Walter Lopez. Lisette Villa Vavarde. Marcia Lopez Morales. Elvira Vinela. Felix Lopez Ramirez. Romulo Vivar Garcia. Kevin Lopez Vasquez. Matthew Wallen. Bella Lohr. Evan Walsh. Byron Lozano. Marissa Ward. Ida Lavula. Matthew James Wokelve. Connor Luck. Sarai Wheeler. Christopher Luna. Raquel White. Evan Fabian. Tania Wright. Yanira Lima Yakarima. Jacob Williams. Nicoletta Faeda. Kimberly Williams. Christy Lima. Darius Wilkshire. Lizette Villacres. Nicholas Wiseman. Mehar Diogen. Miracle Weatherspoon. Estefany Leon. Chloe Wong. Asian Kukamani. Vicky Z. 
Ariana Yanza Koganchi. Matthew Yeskrimski. Kaylee Yim. Jason Yu. Yusef Zaze. Daniel Zuleta. Roman Zulaninski. Daisy Chase. Ryan Rodriguez. Kamora Williams. Congratulations to Danbury High School Class of 2023. You may now move.